You busy? Very busy, Kupo. Kupo, Kupo. Kupo, Kupo. Oh! <laughs> 
Hi there. Oh, oh. oh Savior, we've been waiting for you. <laughs> Deep in the forest, I stumbled onto a small village. The last home of the Mughals. I was just in time. Their peaceful lives were about to be shattered by a terrible menace. You mean them? Yes, Kubo. Terrible beast they are. You must let us poor Mughals, Kubo. Ow, ow. And now they know where you live.
It is you, isn't it? Who, who's Mog, Kubo? What are you playing at? Is it that terrible having to see me again? No, Kubo, I swear! Then turn around. Mog. Mog does not deserve to look lightning in the eye, Kubo. Oh. Because Mog couldn't protect Sarah, Kubo. And so... Mog. 
Koopa? I'm glad you're all right. I was worried about you. I know what you're feeling. You've shed a lot of tears for Sarah, haven't you? Koopa. But blaming yourself for what happened is just gonna make her sad. You know that. Sarah's gone, Koopa. Gone forever. Her soul is still out there. Koopa? And I promise you, I'm going to bring her back. R really Koopa? Really. So listen, I need a very important favor from you. Koopa Popo? There's a chance that I won't be around to meet her when she returns. I'm gonna try not to let that happen. But if it does, I want you to be there instead. She'll need someone she knows and loves waiting for her. The old mug. Mug. Don't give up. Things are going to get better.
They disappear. Ten days ago, Kubo. Can you help? Will you find our lost friends, Kubo? Ten days? Shouldn't you have started searching for them already? Where did they go missing? I don't know, Kubo. But they are not brave. I don't think they would venture out of the forest, Kubo. Well, I suppose that narrows it down. But how can a Moogle get lost in the first place? You can all fly, right? Just take to the air, and you can find the trail from above. You're exactly right! That's a great idea, Kubo! Why didn't any of us think of that before? We always flutter close to the ground, Kubo. To soar in the sky, I scarce imagine it! Really? Seems like common sense to me. You can fly that high, right? Of course, Kubo. It's just scary to go too high. Ah, uh, never mind. Anyway, I'll look for your friends. You will? Oh, thank you, Kubo. You should search at night, Kubo. In the day, they will be hidden away, Kubo. All right, got it. Find them before sunrise. My lost mog brothers are somewhere in the woods, I think. Somewhere in the woods, I think.
Welcome! Koopa! Thanks, Koopa! So tell me, what have you been doing with yourself these last 500 years? Have you been in the village this whole time? Oh no, Kubo! I was swept up in the chaos, Kubo! I was carried hither and thither until I found myself in the void beyond. I wandered there, and one by one I met my friends, Kubo! Our world was a terrible mess, and we didn't know where to go, Kubo! Right. When the chaos flooded in, you Moogles lost your homes, just like so much of humankind. That's right, Kubo! We were so blue, we didn't know what to do. We roamed around for a spell, over the desert and dale, until one day we found this forest. That's when I said to my friends, let's build a new home here. And that's what we did. All the Moogles together, Kubo. Building a new home to replace the one that was lost. That reminds me of something from a long time ago. Kubo, Kubo, of course, Kubo. Sarah told me all about what they did, Kubo. Sarah and Snow and their friends. They lost their home once too, Koopo. It was before we met, but they found a new place. And together, they built a home even better than the old one. They were my inspiration, Koopo. And I told all my Moogle brothers. Then, before I knew it, I became the chief of the whole Moogle village, Koopo. I'm not surprised. You've had a lot of adventures and fought bravely in many battles. Of course they'd turn to you. You're a natural-born leader. <gasps> Lightning! You mustn't say that, Koopo. If you keep praising me so much, my bubble might burst, Koopo! I've been looking forward to seeing Sarah for ever so long. And all of her friends too, Koopo! Right. Don't worry about that. I'll find her. And everyone else too. I know you will. My motto is think positive, Koopo. But without the Koopo bit. I know we'll meet Sarah soon, Koopo! That's a fine motto to live by, Mog. Do me a favor. And don't change. This world needs more optimists. Oh! Lightning! Er, uh, Lightning? Are you interested in the temple in the north, Koopo? Of course. I want to get inside it if I can, but I need to find out how to get there first. Not far away is a barren land full of crags and fissures and stony hills. Nestled among them is the village of Polta, and beyond the village lies the temple, Koopo. Right. But I can't get up there on foot, correct? Koopo, I could fly you there. Except I can't. You're much too heavy, Koopo. <laughs> I'd say your wings are too small. It's been too long, Koopo. Er, uh, Lightning? Are you interested in the temple in the north, Koopo? Of course. I want to get inside it if I can, but I need to find out how to get there first. Not far away is a barren land full of crags and fissures and stony hills. Nestled among them is the village of Polta, and beyond the village lies the temple, Koopo. Right. But I can't get up there on foot, correct? Koopo, I could fly you there. Except I can't. You're much too heavy, Koopo. <laughs> I'd say your wings are too small. Evening, Koopo. <laughs> you can get delicious silkish greens with a bit of work, Koopo. Then at night, Koopo. Their names are Moglin, Moglen, and Mogtha, Koopo.
Keep your eye on the clock. It's nearly time to get you back up here. There's really not much time left until you need to return to the Ark. at 6 o'clock every morning to regulate the time distortion. But we all call the Mog for short. Lost Mog Brothers are somewhere in the woods, I think. Wishes in the mouths of the dead. That's pretty low. Huh? You can't say what Sarah would want, even if she weren't dead. Yet you go making up handy lies. She would have wanted you to do this. No, she wouldn't want you to do that. That's just plain dishonest. You want me to apologize? Are you saying Sarah wouldn't have wanted me to save Snow from that... from that hell? You told me to do it in the first place. Sorry, but I'm special, you see? The rules don't apply to me. Anyway, Sarah's not even dead. And I'm not talking about any of that sweet, oh, she's still alive in everyone's heart, garbage. You know? I don't need you to tell me that. I know she's not gone. I know her soul is here with us. I can 
feel her presence even now. Isn't that just what you want to believe? How do you know you're not just too scared to face the truth, clinging to some false idea of hope? You know, you're a lot weaker than I thought you were. Sis. that rules over all life. It's that time again.
still have those memories, you know, of when I first met Snow. I was with my mother. Her name was Nora. For a long time, I wanted to kill Snow. I dreamed of plunging a dagger into his heart, whispering my mother's name in his ear. So Mog was alive after all, and he's been living together with the other Moogles. I'm really happy for him. Light, do you understand your role now? You must lift the shackles that bind people's hearts and save their souls. The more souls you save, the more Aradia you can harvest. That is crucial because it means buying the world more time. Can I help you with anything? Do you need to talk? Can I help you with anything? I still remember our first meeting. It didn't go well. Mother was with me. There was a battle going on. She joined Snow to protect me, and then she was killed. I saw it happen, and I blamed Snow. I remember I was angry and filled with rage. I vowed to kill him, but you saved me. You showed me a way out of my anger. Looking back on it now, it's like it happened to someone else. I remember being angry, but I have no idea how that felt. Perhaps it's been too long. I still remember our first meeting. Mother was with me. I saw it happen. I remember I was angry, but you saved me. Looking back on it, I remember being angry. In this world, all the clocks count to 12, but that wasn't always the case. Back in the old days, all clocks went to 13. Somehow, when the chaos first flooded into the world, we lost that 13th hour. It was one of the great mysteries. No one could figure it out. But happen, it did. And the results were dramatic. Space-time has been damaged. Where once each day lasted 26 hours, now only lasts 24. Two hours of every day, gone, just like that. The lost time. There's a hard truth we must face. There are thousands of people down in the world waiting to be saved. But you cannot help all of them. It's not possible. I've only got a handful of days. There just isn't enough time, right? This will sound cold, but you need to be efficient. Saving people who are suffering under the heaviest burdens will give you more Aradia, which is good for us. But the greater the burden, the more you might have to do before that soul can be saved. Sometimes, solving someone's problem might just take too long. You're saying I shouldn't waste time on helping the hard cases. I've got to pick and choose who gets saved. Of course it would be best if you could save everyone, but you can't. It's a numbers game, Light. The more souls you save, the more Aradia you can gather and offer to the tree. The time spent helping one person might be better spent saving the souls of ten others. Efficiency by volume, is that it? A numbers game, like you say. Control costs and maximize profits. What is it that they say? Time is money. There are certain areas within Nova Chrysalia that I want you to focus on. Five locations where I'm picking up anomalous chaos readings. And I'm guessing one of those locations is right where Snow is. Yes, exactly. The palace in the city of Yusnod. There is another spot in the heart of Luxarian, the Holy City. One more in the scorching sands of the Dead Dunes. And finally, I've measured large chaos fluctuations at two locations in the Wildlands. Four regions, five locations. To be more precise, the goals are people, not places. For example, the chaos activity in and around Snow's palace is linked to him, and the darkness in his heart. It's the same kind of chaos that I'm picking up in the other four locations. And you want me to find these five people? They're your priority, yes. Those people have massive burdens on them. The fate of many rests on their shoulders, and that makes your task all the harder. Helping them will not be easy, even for God's handpicked savior, but I can help you. Who am I exactly? It's a question I don't have the answer to. I don't know how I know the things I'm telling you. I don't know who gave me the knowledge. It's not that I have forgotten my past. 
Some memories are still there, and I can summon them when I want. It's just that I can't recall the emotions they should evoke, as if they're images of someone else's life. I know that I once lived in a great city on the surface of the planet. I know that Snow and I joined forces to try and battle the menace of the chaos. And then, suddenly, I was here. I tried to find out what happened. According to records that still survived, the man called Hope S. Time disappeared 169 years ago. But the records and my memory end there. What happened after that? I can only assume I was in the hands of God. I was part of his plan. So he took me and prepared me for the role that I had to play. The Ark is the remains of the artificial cocoon, a planet built of steel back when humanity still dared to dream of greatness. Bunavelza has repurposed the world we built. This is where the souls of the saved are kept, ready to be reborn in the new world. But the people down on the surface have forgotten what this stands for and simply call it a moon. The destruction began 500 years ago, but you know that. It was when the chaos first flooded into our world. Most of the world was lost immediately under the ocean of chaos. Only one small region survived. The survivors call their island of refuge Nova Chrysalia. The chaos brought destruction and a kind of immortality too. Suddenly everyone stopped growing. It was like we'd lost our time. But if that was a gift, it was a poisoned one. We could not age and neither could new life be born. There were no more children, but although we were ageless, we were not immune to death. Sickness, accidents, and violence could still kill us. Life remained as fragile as it had always been, and so humanity began a new chapter of its history, the population slowly shrinking, the survivors falling into an ennui born of lives that last too long. Eventually, new creeds took hold and new legends created. One of these told of the Savior, a servant of God. She would descend to Nova Chrysalia at the end of the world, humanity's last chance for salvation. Do you need to talk? Welcome, valued customer! It was just for a second, but I saw Sarah. I guess I must be doing something right. God decided to give me a little taste of my final reward. You don't sound very pleased. <sighs> Ever since I woke up as the Savior, I haven't felt much of anything. I think it's because you've been made something more than human something almost divine. Wait, what do you mean? The Savior is God's chosen servant. The Aradia is your life force now. It's the light of God himself inside every cell of your being. What I'm saying is, it's as if you're turning into a god yourself. And when does that stop? When the end comes, will I be sitting up there in heaven with Bonavelsa himself? Not the future I want. That wasn't very nice, now was it? What you did to poor Mog? It looked like it hurt. I couldn't help it, I just reacted out of instinct. I don't go in for people hugging me or Moogles, even if I'm glad to see them. I think you actually enjoyed the hug. You just lashed out to cover your embarrassment. Am I right? Hope, you better drop it. You're treading on dangerous ground now. I still remember our first meeting. It didn't go well. Mother was with me. I saw it happen. I remember I was angry, but you saved me. Looking back on it now, I remember being a... Getting your bearings? Something happened? That wasn't very nice, now was it? What you did to poor Mog? It looked like it hurt. I couldn't help it, I just reacted out of instinct. I don't go in for people hugging me or Moogles, even if I'm glad to see them. I think you actually enjoyed the hug. You just lashed out to cover your embarrassment. Am I right? Hope, you better drop it. You're treading on dangerous ground now. That wasn't very nice, now was it? What you did to poor Mog? 
It looked like it hurt. I couldn't help it. I just reacted out of instinct. I don't go in for people hugging me or Moogles, even if I'm glad to see them. I think you actually enjoyed the hug. You just lashed out to cover your embarrassment. Am I right? Hope, you better drop it. You're treading on dangerous ground now. What is it? Something happened? Doing okay? Can I help you with anything? Something happened? Getting your bearings? you with anything?
What do you want now? I've come to help you remember what you've lost. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about, okay? You woke up from your crystal sleep with God's voice in your ear. He said you had to be the savior. But part of what made you lightning was missing, leaving a big empty hole in your heart. Yeah, that's how it feels. It's like I've forgotten something important, something that I need. Huh, really? I thought you'd deny it. But it's okay. I'll help you remember. Indestructible crystal. Even in the sea of chaos, it never loses its shine. I will become an eternal epitaph. Your memory will survive for eternity within a crystal tomb. This shall be my legacy and my atonement. But most of all, my final hope. You wanted to protect her, so you fell into that crystal sleep. You became a tomb for a memory, a moment frozen in time, with Sarah's soul cocooned inside. So tell me, Lightning, where do you think Sarah is now? Yes. I remember now. She was there, in my heart. I had her memories. They were inside me. I took them into the crystal. She was with me then. We should have been together the whole time. Right. Now you're catching on. So, the hole in your heart? Sarah's soul. That's what I'm missing. And you know who took it out, don't you? But Nevelza did when he woke you up to do his bidding. He must have messed with your memories, too and tried to make you forget about it. And so he had the perfect motivation, or should I say hostage. He's gonna hold on to her until I've done what he wants. Oh, I don't know if he thought it out that far. He's not very good with human emotions, that god of yours. Maybe he just threw her soul away and let it be swallowed up by the chaos. But he promised me. He said as long as I did what I was told, he'd bring Sarah back to me. If he lied, then I don't care if he is a god. I'll destroy Bam. him. <laughs> now that's more like the old lightning. But do you really think you can take on a god? Well, I wouldn't bet against me. I might have found a way to shut him down. A last resort if all else fails. <laughs> You've been brewing up contingency plans. Sneaky, Lightning. Very sneaky. I haven't made up my mind yet. This world is finished. Soon it'll be gone forever. And Benevelza is the only one who can build us a new one. When he's done, then I'll decide. So you'll play his game for as long as it takes to build the new world. Then you'll sit in judgment on him, you'll betray him and destroy him and steal the new world he labored to build. Is that your plan? Turning on God and making him a pawn in your own game? It's audacious. Oh, but little Hope is going to be so disappointed. He really does trust you, you know. And you're going to betray him. Oh, you did think about that, didn't you? You turn on God, you turn on Hope. Are you ready for that? Do you have it in you to fight him? Are you really prepared to kill Hope? You think I'm not? You answered a question with a question. That's an evasion. <sighs> Got ya. But it's not a big deal. It looks like hope and talks like hope, but it isn't hope anymore. Are you saying he's a fake? Sorry, but the only fake I know is Sarah. <sighs> Look, if you're gonna talk nonsense, this conversation is over. I've got better things to do. Fine, Lightning. Let me make it all clear. Look around you and see the lies. The 
terror you talk to is a lie. Hope in his Ark is a lie. How long is it going to take before you wake up? Before you realize that maybe, just maybe, you're a lie too. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
do this. Let's make a show of it.
The ground looks right for planting. I can grow vegetables here too. What'll it be? Come back soon. Now ah, yes. Well done. I heard what you did. Now you helped our hunter hopeful pass his trial. I didn't know it was for a trial. If I had, I would have refused him. It matters not. His wits and guile have made him a hunter true. And that's a fact. Here in the Wildlands, our human laws pale to nothing in the face of nature's grim, unyielding certainties. He has grit and perseverance. Those are useful qualities in a hunter. Qualities you do not lack. I've heard about your exploits against the monsters out here. I am proud of my fighting skills, but it's a misplaced pride when they are set against yours. A warrior like you could serve as an inspiration to many of us. Tell me, will you help out our young hunters and be a model for them? A model? Yes, that's right, a role model, I mean. The new recruits are eager, but still wet behind the ears. They don't know what it takes to defeat a truly powerful monster. You can show them and give them something to strive for. Why not? I knew you would agree. How about a little warm-up first? Easy pickings for the likes of you. Sure. Let's do it. You'll find your prey over at Rocky Crag. You must bring back proof of your exploits. Impressive. Perhaps for you the challenge was insufficient. Think of it as preparation. The next challenge will be a true test of your abilities. Your prey shall be the Protoflorian. An innocuous name, perhaps, but this is one flower whose petals deliver deadly blows. The creature holds cord and rocky crag, where many a fellow hunter have fallen victim to its might. None of us have yet managed to slay it. I fear that it will be too much for you alone. Heed my words, for my warning is not given lightly. You risk your life facing this beast. I'll survive. A giant protoflorian. It must be one of the ancient weapons that ran amok long ago. Somehow it survived until now. Of course. I fought it before. We knew it as the Aster Protoflorian. It was one of the toughest battles Hope and I fought. The Protoflorian lurks around Rocky Crag. It is not easy to track. I haven't been this excited about a hunt in many a year.
You, you have defeated it. Can that monster be truly dead? Such a day I never expected to see. I stand before you awed and humbled. Please, forgive me my amazement. Of course, I, I did not doubt you. That is why I asked you, after all. You have lifted a shadow that darkened the wild lands for many years. Right. Sounds like I did you a favor. That talk about being a role model for your young hunters was just a ploy to get me to tidy up a problem. I will not deny it. By destroying the menace, you killed two birds with one stone. I had intended to assist you in the quest. However, by the time I was ready, you had already done the deed. Either way, your famous feat has served my original purpose. The young hunters cannot stop talking about you. Indeed, I too have been inspired to take my bow into the hinterlands in search of fresh game. Yeah, well, don't do anything stupid. Who would look after the other hunters if you got killed? Thanks to you, they've seen what a brave and skilled fighter can achieve. They don't need me to coddle them. Perhaps none of us can grow as powerful as you, but as long as you inspire us, we need not fear death nor any beast that prowls the wildlands. You've inspired the young hunters with your feats. Thank you. If you're ever in need of more medicine, just come see me. And bring the right ingredients with you, of course. Do you need a cure? This is what I would need if I were to make it. I'm sorry to ask, but... Do you need a cure? No substitutes. I need both chocoboros and slug sweeps to make chocobol. Chocoboros are a type of mushroom that are found in shady areas of the forest. The quickest way to get slug sweets is from the Rafisha monsters that live in the forest. Do you need a cure? 
No substitutes. I need both chocoboros and slug sweets to make chocobol. Chocoboros are a type of mushroom that are found in shady areas of the forest. The quickest way to get slug sweets is from the Rafflesia monsters that live in the forest. Do you need a cure? If you're ever in need of more medicine, just come see me. And bring the right ingredients with you, of course. If you're ever in need of more medicine, just come see me. And bring the right ingredients with you, of course. You want to be prepared? Hello, and welcome. Thank you kindly for your patience. I need a new training regime for my hunters. Do you need a cure? No substitutes. I need both chocoboros and slug sweets to make chocobol. Chocoboros are a type of mushroom that are found in shady areas of the forest. The quickest way to get slug sweets is from the Rafflesia monsters that live in the forest. You look strong today. Chocobos can't talk, except her. 
It would be useful to harness our recruits' newfound enthusiasm. What a fine chocobo. The legs on him. Look at that. It's the angel of the Do you need a cure? I don't believe it. <laughs> you actually got everything. Now I'll finally be able to do my final task. Words cannot express just how much this means to me. <laughs> Truly. But I want to say thank you anyway. That was your last task, to make this medicine. Yes, I want to give it to someone, but I'll have to be extra careful with this brew. I can't ruin this, not something this precious. That's right. Don't you go wasting all of my hard work. I'll take that as encouragement, I guess. I'll bet every last bit of pride I have is an apothecary on this. No substitutes. I need both chocoboros and slug sweets to make chocobol. Chocoboros are a type of mushroom that are found in shady areas of the forest. The quickest way to get slug sweets is from the Rafisha monsters that live in the forest. Do you need a cure? Thanks to you, I'll finally be able to make the medicine that I've always wanted to. I've finally done it! Do you need a cure? If you're ever in need of more medicine, just come see me. And bring the right ingredients with you, of course. Do you need a cure? If you're ever in need of more medicine, just come see me. And bring the right ingredients with you, of course.
Huh, you look strong today. And welcome. Thank you kindly for your patronage. Like this. So, uh, you must be a hunter. You've come to the right place. You want to be prepared for anything you might come across, don't you? Thank you. 